Good morning. It is Thursday. It's 9.25. I am on my way to Jamaica, my second call of the day, for an insurance claim. The boiler is making a loud noise. Not sure what it is, but on our way to find out and hopefully I get some good footage. Like a lot of steam, you see this coming out this one. Okay. And I can take this off, put this one off, and I thought it like, um, so then it's like cracking. I'm gonna cut it up. So you can start here right now. You'll, you'll, you'll start here. Okay. Now, are you getting sounds from every radiator? No, uh, well, I think like three of them. And it's like, what does the sound sound like, like if you boom, describe boom, it? Boom. Like smacking pipes with a hammer? Yeah, like, like um, today is what, um, Thursday? Tuesday night, it actually woke me up. Like, I was okay. hearing like... Are there specific spots in the house that you hear it? Yeah, it's gonna come up. So it's here and then it's upstairs. Okay. And it's like, and it's like excess steam coming out of. Yeah, so how many radiators are letting steam out? I'll show you. It never stops when the heat's on. It just constantly, constantly hisses. Well, it hit. Like, I think what happens is, as it, as it, um, you see, I had the heat on like sixty-five. Mm -hmm. When it's trying to, um, one, when the heat is first coming on, it, but as I, as it try to maintain like a seventy-degree temperature or whatever, it goes like it's more, it's more steady. Okay, because hissing in and of itself isn't necessarily bad but if there's steam coming out then that's yeah it's steam coming out so it's not the hissing i agree okay. with that it's the steam and even like sometimes like hearing it come on i have been around old school heaters but this one is a little bit different okay but it is steam coming out of some of them um how long have you had the issues for it really cooked. well i already just started using the heat so i would say um maybe like two weeks or so so how long have you been in the house i've been in the house for a long time for years but and I only this started season, using the heat this year. Meaning the season. Yeah. Uh, but it started this year. The issue is this year. Like I've had this issue over the years, but I got it fixed. How have you had any like renovations done between last winter and this winter? Not on my boiler system. But, but yeah. On the floors or anything no, like that? I, I'm in a process of renovations right now. Okay. But nothing on the floors. There was no work done to the heating system. But I did I am getting as you see the house is being renovated mm -hmm. now. Okay. But this issue, since I've been in this house for 16 years, so I've had this issue before. Usually what the, res the resolution was, I needed new valves and new, that's the new okay. issue. Okay. Where's the boiler? In the basement. Can you take it to mm -hmm. There's a lot of, are you able to walk through this? Yeah, that's fine. You have a bulb? I got to Two psi but what are cut off uh, we look like we're overfilled we're definitely overfilled electronic ignition there's a Hartford loop and how does our header look our header is at an angle Got a pipe coming right off there. So, so far, the boiler's overfilled. It's also surging pretty badly. Uh, the water's also very dirty. As soon as it started to surge, you can see it's like dark, dark brown. So what I'm gonna do is drain it out. She said nobody's drained it out. They used to have somebody here that took care of it, but now they don't. So, first I'm gonna make sure everything at the boiler is working properly, and then I'll move on to the radiators. Got a nice big light plugged in too. 
you actually can't even see the surging now because the whole side glass is just full of dirty water. Whole boiler's shaking from it. I don't know if you can see. But I'm gonna hook up my bucket and start draining down. Doing an intermittent level test right now. This is some dark, dark water. Like dark chocolate milk. But uh I'll let this keep going. Check on the level. See when we finally start to show. But I'm gonna drain it down completely. Not sure how old the boiler is. I don't see a manufacture date or a recent service date. But it looks fairly old. To get access to this one, I had to take off this cap to remove the air vent. And I got it. This also won't fully close, so there's some steam coming out. But, get this on now. Did just pull and clear out the pressure uh, the uh, pigtail with a blow gun and I'm gonna put pressure gauge there since that one's broken and I don't have a deep shank pressure gauge the shank goes all the way down to around here okay so here is our pressure gauge with our pigtail <clears throat> that's cleaned out and our pressure troll um, the main steam air vent Although it's not passing steam out now, it does look like it has been an issue, so that's going to need to be addressed. But unfortunately, unfortunately that's going to exceed the limits of the um, price allowed to be spent on the call. But there are a few other things that I'm going to have to put in for two radiator valves. Oof, hit my head. Are going to need replacement because they are leaking water but aside from that everything seems to be working well i think the main issue was that the boiler was overfilled and uh, since draining the water the surging's helped a lot but it's still there a little bit which is what it is um Maybe I can add Surge X. There's really nowhere practical for me to add it. But we'll see. And we are approaching 2 PSI. So if this doesn't shut off, they're also going to need a new pressure troll, which will be put in for, because that's going to exceed the limits as well. And it shut pressure off at 5 PSI, it's set for 2, so it's inaccurate, but it is doing something. Uh, still going to recommend it be replaced. So I finished up with what I could do there. They're going to need a new pressure troll, a new main steam air vent, and two new radiator valves. So we're going to put in for that with the insurance company. But no more banging. I think that was just due to the system being overfilled. It may have been done to it being overpressurizing too. But the pigtail was clogged, and it's shutting off at 5, which should shut off lower, but that's better than not shutting off at all. But she was very, very happy. She actually tipped. I've never gotten a tip from an insurance claim uh, service call, but that's it for this one. Hopefully you enjoyed watching. If you did, like the video, comment any things you may have done differently, uh, advice or criticisms, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.